Today we're at Element 6 in Didcot on behalf of Alicona UK. Now, Brian, you've sold the first Cobot measuring system to Element 6, but tell us the journey. Yes, Mark. Um, uh, Element 6 have been a customer of Alicona for a number of years. They actually have two of our lab-based systems, but they wanted to move the measurement task into production. And along with the desires of Alicona to get into that market, we've been working with them and we now have a working system working with an accumulator to measure toolware in process. On that basis, let's go and talk to Wayne about the system itself. Wayne, you head up the head of applications here at Element 6. Now, you've been working with Alicona for well over 10 years now. However, you've got the UK's first Cobot system. Could you tell me a little bit about the journey, but also what you do here? Yeah. Um, well, I guess the journey starts in, in, in Shannon in 2009 when, um, when Brian from Alicona sold us the, the first um, uh, G4 Alicona system. And, and it really transformed the way we looked at cutting tools. Um, so. You know, we've been using the Alicona systems ever since. Um, and the Cobalt really is the next stage uh, in that journey. What we're doing here is we're trying to develop uh, new cutting tool materials. Cutting tool materials based on diamond or its sister material, uh, cubic boron nitride. And, and how we do that is we map the life uh, of a cutting tool in as many signals as we can. And then the Alicona is particularly good for measuring where different types of wear and also quantifying uh, those different types of wear. So that's what we do. Essentially, we uh, machine a workpiece material with a new tool material and monitor the wear, measure the wear at intervals along its life. Now, that's not a very productive thing to do in terms of machine time. So the advent of the Alicona Cobot is, I guess, the next stage in that journey, trying to automate uh, that process because yeah, that's the, the limiting factor in, in uh, I guess, the time it takes us to develop new cutting tool materials is how quickly can we test them. So would I be right in saying before the Cobot system you was actually taking the tool out and actually looking at the surface measurement, for instance, getting the data that way? Yeah, that, that's exactly right. So like typically in a typical day, uh, an operator would be taking the tools uh, out of the lathe, uh, measuring the wear in, in our uh, laboratory, bringing it back, putting it back on the machine. You know, it doesn't sound too arduous, but when you're doing that, you know, 20 times a day per machine, uh, it, it really impacts the productivity. Um, you know, we were getting sort of uh, uh, machining times per week measured in hours, you know. Uh, the Alicona system is really going to transform our capacity. How much buy? Um, well, I think I'd be really disappointed if it was only less than three times, but I think much more realistic will be a factor of 10 in terms of just pure productivity. So from you choosing this system, if you as in general manufacturing, I presume the Cobot system is not necessarily just about your, your business, it could be generally manufacturing. No, I, I, look, I think this is going to be really, really useful uh, across industry. If, if we just look at the, the, the cutting tool industry alone, this is how most people develop cutting tools. They, they, they uh, monitor the cutting tool uh, along its life. They try to understand the dominant wear modes, the underlying mechanisms, and they use that to create new cutting tool. And that, you know, that um, means, in all cases, all people developing cutting tools need to do that same job. They need to take the tool out before it fails. They need to do that as much as possible to learn as much as possible uh, about the, the, the wear modes. From a general manufacturing point of view, the Cobot system could actually sort of measure anything rather than just tooling. Yeah, well look, I see it, it having amazing uh, applications across tooling, but we use it not only to measure the cutting tool, but we also use it to measure the workpiece surface conditions. Because, you know, some customers, the end of life criteria is not necessarily the cutting tool, it's also the workpiece condition. So we also use it to measure the workpiece condition, also in the, in, in the automated mode. So really, you're investing via the Cobot system from Alicona for your customers' needs? Uh, definitely. Uh, I mean, h how we create new materials is very much in collaboration uh, with our customers. So our productivity really is their gain as much as it is ours. There is other products on the marketplace uh, that compete with Alicona, but why have you chosen Alicona over all these years? 
Um, I think a number of reasons. I mean, it, it, first of all, it starts with, with, with history. I mean, we started using the machine. We, start, we, we, we found that we were able to have conversations about cutting tools that we just couldn't have previously. You know, before the advent of the Alacona, you have to be very selective about which tools you analyze. You need to bring them into an SEM, for example. We found that with, when Alacona brought out the G4, uh, we could have really detailed conversations about cutting tools. So, you know, we really invested in, in, in the machine. Um, and then the next stage was conversations at, at you know, at, at the high levels in Alacona. We, we, we explained to them our dream of automating this process. Um, so they were clear what we wanted to do. They, they, they understood that we loved the system. Uh, they also understood that um, productivity was a big concern from us. So, you know, what they clearly showed at a very high level, again, in, in Alicona, is that they understood the problem that we had and they committed to helping us to solve that problem. And is in-processing management the future? Um, for us, I hope so. I, I mean, look, the, the reason is we want everybody in, in, in this innovation centre to be adding value. So doing uh, repetitive tasks don't add value. Really what we want to be doing is looking at the data, uh, explaining the data, not spending all our time generating the data. So yeah, I, I think it's the future. Well, investing in products is all about the future and obviously you're demonstrating this here. Thanks very much for your time, Wayne. You're most welcome. Thank you.